Hello, this is another uh, highlight from John's Gospel, John chapter 7, and uh, I'm torn because there's a lot of good stuff in this chapter, but let's just jump in at verse 40. Uh, Jesus is in Jerusalem again. It's for the Feast of, um, where are we? Feast of, of Booths, Feast of Tabernacles. And uh, verse 40 uh, says this, when they heard these words, some of the people said, this really is the prophet, capital P. So who's the prophet? That's uh, Deuteronomy is it 15, uh, anticipating a prophet like Moses who would come in the future. So there's this long-term anticipation and they're saying, this is him, this is the one. Others said, this is the Christ, like this is the Messiah, the anointed one, the, the deliverer that has been promised from way back in the Old Testament. But some said, is the Christ to come from Galilee? One of the things I love about John is that he can describe uh, different groups of people. Uh, he does this several times. Different groups of people that are kind of confused. There, there's some people from here, some people from there, some people saying this, some people saying that. And here the confusion comes from the fact that Jesus is known as Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus from Galilee. Like that's his label. That's the way he would have been referred to uh, by everybody at that time, it seems. And so here they've got an issue. People are watching him and are saying that based on what he says and based on what he does, he's got to be the prophet. He's got to be the Christ. And they're right. But then others are saying, now hang on a minute. The Christ has to come from Bethlehem, not from Galilee. And they're right too. They just don't know where he comes from. And so verse 42, has not the scripture said that the Christ comes from the offspring of David mm -hmm. and comes from Bethlehem? Yep. Uh, the village where David was. That's correct. So there was a division among the people over him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. It carries on and uh, the, the people that come to arrest him go back and they haven't got him and the Pharisees are all upset. Then Nicodemus stands up for him and says, hang on a second, we've got to hear the man before we judge the man. And they replied to Nicodemus, are you from Galilee too? Search and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. That's a great insult if you if you want to do something uh, kind of fun read through john's gospel and collect the insults so so here's the thing that just i I've, i so enjoy when i'm reading john we know who jesus is for instance we know jesus born in bethlehem we celebrate it every year we we are so familiar with it they didn't know that to them it was jesus from galilee so he can't be the christ it's kind of fun isn't it you think wow if only they had known where he was born Actually, would that have made a difference? Because really, the facts don't win hearts. Ultimately, the Spirit of God has to move their hearts and win them. But it's fun to see that even Nicodemus here is is kind of leaning in and being drawn towards him. Some of the crowd are being drawn towards him. And as we're reading John's Gospel, let's make sure that we are among those who are being drawn towards him. Let's incline our heart towards Jesus and say, OK, show me afresh. Show me afresh who you are. Show me in a new way so that I can even more delight in the reality of knowing the prophet, the Christ, the one who makes God known to us. Well, that's John 7, little, little snippet. And uh, next time we'll look at John 8. Ah, oh, That's going to be hard. Anyway, see you soon.